Hello everyone, welcome to the Theatre Royal Nottingham. My name is David Longford. I'm the Creative Learning Manager for the venue and we're standing today at the very top of our auditorium. We're here on the balcony and you can see our glorious auditorium and our iconic chandelier behind me. Now we are releasing this film on the 25th of September 2020, which will in fact be the 155th birthday of this venue. Uh, it opened its doors on the 25th of September 1865. Now we are still very much closed as a venue due to the COVID-19 pandemic, but for every anniversary we always try to do something special and so we thought we'd do something slightly different online and with this film show you somewhere where you've never seen inside the Theatre Royal. If you've sat in our venue you perhaps have looked up and seen the beautiful decoration and the chandelier. Well, today we are actually going to take you into the roof space and we're going to be seeing some of the incredible features up there. And joining with me is our technical director, Mr Dave Garn. Hello, yep, yeah, so we're going to go up into the roof space above the old Victorian ceiling, which is a wooden construction, not plaster as we, a lot of people actually thought. It's an interesting way to get in and not something anyone else is going to do without some guidance. So I'm here to help and assist and also struggle and wiggle into it myself because it's not the best place in the world to get into. So this, uh, it's going to be interesting. We're going to show you sort of part of the route of how you get into the roof space, which is a bit of a faff to be honest with you. So bear with us as you see us clamber up ladders and through crawl spaces and so on. But hopefully uh, when we get into the roof space, it'll be really quite revealing to you all. So Dave. Here we go. Let's go. Off we go. So we're just climbing up. It's a bit of a tight squeeze. It reminds me of Star Trek a bit, but there you go. And when you get to the top, it's really quite tricky. Which is why only technicians come up here normally. So you're quite lucky. I'm in. Oh. Right, so this is, yeah, this is very tight through here. Not usually very good with ladders. Right, mind your head. So this is the bit that's always a bit of a faff is now trying to squeeze from the ladder into the crawl space. So um oh, one knee up. Oh yeah, I think I wedged myself a bit there, but I'm in. Right, so now crawl time. Okay, so I'm actually in now, so you can't you can't stand up now because basically it just beams everywhere. So it's just a matter of just trying to crawl through. Uh, make sure you're not wearing your Sunday best. And finally, we're in. Hello Dave. Hello Dave. Okay, so we made it up through the up the ladder, through the crawl space, and we're actually up here now um, in the roof space of the Theatre Royal. Um, we still can't quite stand up there, no, can we? Because right, we've yeah. got we've got joists and, and so on. So um, if we're now, we just need to, we're not crawl, but maybe just be careful that we don't still bang our heads and we can actually go and stand up in the central part of the roof space. Okay, and is it worth mentioning just while we're here, you can see a mixture of the old and the new. So the wooden beams are the old Victorian beams. And this metal here is part of the rigging that was put in for cats in the 80s. So that point there actually goes to a hole. If you're very clever, you can spot the holes in the ceiling where these would go through. So this... When you say the Victorian beams, Dave, they're, they're, we're talking the original yep. 1865 from, from when Charles Phipps built yep. the theatre. The yeah? original beams, they're still there. Still holding the theatre up. <laughs> All right then, so now we're gonna still keep our heads down because we're gonna ourselves an injury otherwise and now go through to the central section. Right, we go. Off we go. Mind your head. Oh, I'm watching, I'm watching. Mind your knee. Oh. There's another old piece here to watch out for as part of the ventilation. Okay. Right. So here we are. We are now uh, standing right in above uh, the central part of the Theatre Royal ceiling. Several feet below us are, are the stalls seating. Dave, any bits, well, if this, features you want to point out to us here? This here is the chandelier being held up here, along with its safety. 
Um, and this here is the winch that moves the chandelier up and down. People may have wondered how we change the light bulbs on the chandelier when they need to be done. Even though they are energy safe and LED now, we still need to bring it in from time to time. So for that, we have this beautiful, beautiful hoist here, which you put this crank handle here. I'm not gonna crank it now because you have to release certain things to make this chandelier go up and down safely. But basically, technicians come up here and they wind the chandelier down and they wind it up. You get a lot more volunteers to wind it down than you need to wind it back up again. Because funnily enough, it's a bit heavy. And there's about 440 turns of this handle that you've got to take it all the way down and all the way up. And you have to lift it every bit. And believe you me, people don't like volunteering for the up. They do it though, they do it. And this, the chandelier was part of the refurbishment, wasn't it, in the 1977? So it's not an original. No. Chandelier, which many people think, but it is, a, 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 as I sort of say, a, a replacement from the, the 70s. Hey, is there any way we can actually see down into the auditorium? We can, kind of. Here. It's a bit filled, because so, there's no one below us, so it's safe to do this. I can lift this board here, and if you want to bring the camera in there, I'll get, you can see down past the chandelier, right the way down to the seats. See if you can catch any of it in there. It's a bit of a interesting view. Again, no one normally sees that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't cover so that. Dave, um, where exactly are we now? So now we're just right up and roof in the lighting slots. It might not be apparent, but again, you have to go up in that crawl space to get to these lighting slots. And every week, lighting technicians have to come up here to refocus these lights. And it's quite high up, but it's actually quite a comfortable position to focus from. If you work in many theatres, sometimes you have ladders, sometimes you have telescopes here. I'm quite comfortable to focus these lights. It's just getting in here is the problem. And so, uh, presumably, these it was the uh, it was last week of March, wasn't it? Then somebody was actually up here sorting out these lights, doing the the Opera North yeah. get in yeah, exactly. on that on that Monday when we all had to kind of close down. And of course, so uh, it's been yeah. over six months since anyone's come anywhere near these lights. Yeah. They're probably still set up for whatever gel the Opera North was putting in when they got the phone calls, just stop what you're doing. Uh, okay, Dave, so um, uh, we're now uh, going to recreate Antiques Roadshow. So um, you've got a ladder. I have um, a ladder that I found in my loft. <laughs> <laughs> I found the roof up. This, this ladder's been up here since the start. We think it's probably a Victorian ladder from back when the theatre was there, uh, long before the council. It's and brilliant, it's absolutely brilliant. It's got all signs of age and, and all sorts on it. So, um... I'm, not, I'm not too sure what the safe working load is on it, and I wouldn't personally want to try climbing it, but it's, we've left it up here anyway. Cool, brilliant. All right, I think, I think that's it. That's your, basically, that's it. That's the tour of the roof space. I hope you found it interesting, Dave. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank uh, you Margaret, much. thank you very much for holding the camera and telling us what to do. <laughs> um, as I say, we are still kind of closed at the moment. Hopefully, hopefully very soon we'll be opening our doors and, and welcome you, welcoming you back in again. So thank you for all your support and um, we'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.